Hey guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video and today guys, EA have just released Flashback SBC Lawrence Kishani. Don't worry guys, I will be doing this SBC and having a review later on tonight, but first of all, I wanted to kind of get out the first video of giving like a quick sort of overlook on the SBC and seeing what it's like. It might be like a new thing that I do this year that I'll always do like an SBC coverage and then if I do the SBC, I'll obviously give them a review and I will be reviewing Kishani later on tonight, but first of all, I wanted to just kind of see what he's like at first glance and give my first initial opinions on him. There's also the way for marquee matchups as well, so hopefully I'll have a video on that. It's going to be lots of videos tonight, guys, on the channel. I want to do a Coleman player review tonight, but that'll probably get pushed back to tomorrow uh, just because there's lots of other stuff to do the, uh, on, on the channel. But anyway, Lauren Kashani, I was hoping they would make it like a flashback, um, like flashback Champions League type of SBC. So Kashani's four. He's celebrating his uh, prolific 2015-2016 Premier League season. It'd be interesting to see, like, the Witzel SBC, whether there's any downgrades to this card uh, compared to his base card. We'll have a look at that in a second. But it's two segments, an 84-rated squad with um, a league one and a Premier League player. 65 chemistry, so it shouldn't be too hard. Jumbo goal pack and return, and then a small rare mixed players pack for having an 85-rated squad and one fringe player. So no informs either, which is good. Um, I think 85 cards are still relatively cheap. So this SBC might come in at about, what, over, just slightly over 100,000 coins, uh, which might not seem too bad. But when I have a look at his in-game stats, so just to kind of see in general whether he's going to be a good card, whether he'll get into my main team, I'm not exactly too sure. But uh, two-star skills, three-star weak foot, don't have to pay too much attention to that as a centre-back. Uh, low high work rate's good. Six foot one isn't too bad for heights into his in-game stats his pace is solid his short passing and long passing are very very nice indeed to have his vision's fine at 63 so good passing stats so we can certainly play the ball at the back and stuff like that which is good his reactions and composure are absolutely superb. To be honest, his dribbling as a whole on a centre back is actually pretty solid. I remember watching this guy back in the day. I mean, we'd probably have to go back. I mean, the center twenty. The tw this card is based on the 2016-2017 season. Now, based on my memory, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but based on my memory, I already thought at that point he was kind of past it. Maybe I was wrong. I thought he was better towards the start of his time at Arsenal, which was like, what, 2011, 2012? I might be completely wrong with that one, but I thought 2016, 2017 wasn't a great year for Arsenal. Um, but as I said, I'm probably wrong in that. No doubt they would have won an FA Cup during that season um, because they always seem to win that trophy now. But uh, his defensive stats are solid. His physical stats are very good as well. Stamina, not the greatest, but at the end of the world, nice jumping as well. Uh... Power head is going to be good from corners. Leadership's interesting. Injury prone shouldn't really affect you. I think that's a good card. I, I I honestly think that that from what I've seen there, first glance, he looks worth doing. I will do his SBC. I'm trying to think could I work him into this team somehow. I mean, got Roberto Carlos there, but I don't think you see man's like a La Liga Premier League icon hybrid. There's no way I can really fit him in. Is that to be quite honest? I mean, you compare him like with Coman, for example. You know, let, 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 let's compare him with Coman here right now. Of course, Coman's an icon and stuff like that. I understand that, but actually, first of all, before we compare him with Coman, let's just have a look at other league and centre backs in general, just to kind of see where he ranks with the likes of Marquinhos and stuff like that. Of course, Jago Silva no longer now in league on. So Lauren Kishoni could be certainly one of the best cards in terms of rating he's actually the best font is useless for rate uh, for for purely for pace there comparing based on a bad option but um obviously because is considerably better and comparing with marquinez like the other big boy center back from uh league on he's got better dribbling only slightly but better dribbling much better pace slightly less in passing which isn't the end of the world much better in physicality and slightly less in defense but marquinez is pretty short isn't he six foot so he's slightly shorter um lacks a little bit in the strength stats I mean, Marquinhos is pretty solid, to be fair, um, despite being one rating lower. I'm, I'm guessing he probably doesn't go for, like, that much on the market. But, I mean, because Shani still seems a really good, solid card, to be fair, in terms of what I'm seeing. He's got good traits. What kind of traits does Marquinhos have? I mean, long throw is kind of useless for a centre-back, isn't it? Because you're never going to take throw into a centre-back, or at least I personally wouldn't. Uh, not having the power header kind of sucks a little bit as well. His work race isn't quite as good. His height isn't quite as good. I think Kashani might probably be out of the two of them, the better card there. And I want to definitely compare Kashani just in general with his other cards to see what kind of differences he's been given in terms of his stats. So if we go to Bordeaux here, his current club now, of course, he left Arsenal, sadly, um, under a bit of a... 
a bit of a cloud. Um, so yeah, this is a card that's been given. Th th this is one of the uh, SBC that's been given an upgrade everywhere, and I thought they'd do that with this one. So obviously, we're going to see, you know, hopefully maybe th later on in the year, we might see like flashback Messi's or flashback CR7s where they'd be maybe slightly lower rated, but easy to be able to get than their normal cards. For Kashani, it's good that they've increased all of his areas of his card to a point where he was maybe at like the best of his career. So this is an SBC that I'll certainly be doing. So I will have a review of him later on tonight on the channel. Make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. But from so far from first glance, I think he looks pretty decent value for money. Unless 85s have shot up in price, which I don't think they have done. In fact, we'll even compare right now. I've got a couple of 85s on the bench. And the former likes of Parejo, Pianic. So we'll kind of get a bit of an idea what they're going for. So Parejo, I bought for 5,500 coins a few days ago. Has gone up a little bit in price. But at the same time, you know, 8,500 coins... Maybe even slightly less than that. It's still really, really good. 7,000 coins there in bid. So we'll call it 8,000 coins to buy the 85 rated cards. Um, and Leno will be a little bit more just because he's from the Premier League. But on the whole, I think that's a pretty good SBC from first glance. And it will have a review later on today. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.